Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Father, we give you praise. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Kabra Doshe, Brati Babalaba, Bose, Bratagama. Ike Papalando, Sibra de Shemba, Reve Baliko, Prati Maso, Brati. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Karabaho Shantala Baba Severe Kipata. So begin to share the link right now. Begin to share the link right now. Invite as many people as you can. Begin to share the link right now. As we are invited. Begin to share the link right now. Katashabo Shebra. Begin to share the link right now. Begin to share the link right now. Send the link out right now. Because of Jesus, you must share. Thank you. So invite as many people as you can. Begin to invite your friends in the name of Jesus. We give praise. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Makem balada babo shembra dia. Reke sopre kapa baladia pambale de vende de bo shembele. I palala baba zuka pambale am do branda. Friends, mam palada baba. Any that all. Come on, invite as many people as you can. Share the link right now. Share the link right now. Begin to share the link right now. Share the link right now. Share the link right now. Begin to share the link right now. Invite someone. Send it to your various groups on WhatsApp. Send it to them on Facebook Messenger. Whilst you are sharing the link in just pray in tongues, speak in tongues, pray in the spirit. Malin febros pele makushe kapapa, hende kebende sombra dia kapapa liando stala mama. Legreke bandira stopra koshata. Invite as many people as you can. If you are on YouTube right now, share the link right now. Invite somebody. If you are on Facebook right now, invite them. Invite them. Share the link as many as you can. The Lord has a word for somebody today. The flesh profited nothing. Spirit of the living God, have your way. We speak into the atmosphere. We speak in your body. God is with you wherever you are. Under the sound of our voice, Maleko The angels of God are present in your room. The angels of God are present in your room. Your angel is right present there with you. Number five. Number five. The month number five. Am I correct? The month number five. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I hear in my spirit grace. We are praying that grant us grace. His grace in every endeavor, every area of our lives. You see, by strength shall no man prevail. 
it is the Lord that showed mercy. That word, that mercy, can be replaced with grace. It is the Lord that showed grace. As I lift up my voice, I, I connect myself to the blessed hour altar, altar of possibilities. And Lord, I declare, let your grace locate me this month. In the name of Jesus, lift up prayer now. Lift up prayer. By strength shall no man prevail. It is the Lord that showed mercy. The race is not to the swift, neither the battle to the stronger. Matthew zele kapa pale, ente mi imbala daga baba ba. Rapa pa liko som balade, akatala magoshen talaba. As we are inviting people in the studio, rekapa lo shen telebe. Share the link right now. Rekapala bushata. Iya talababa. Man pili imbale nege. Imbale nege vasom. To you. Let your grace. Let your grace. Your anointing. Your favor. Locate me. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. Epali papi papalata. Loko pratale. Shentele bebebe.
supernatural manifestations hallelujah amen this month you shall laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh hallelujah Okay, I think the volume is okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we ready for today? Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, well, today is Wednesday, depending on the country you are connected with us from, because we are in different time zones, and, and I trust that over here in Ghana, GMT, we are in Wednesday already, hallelujah. And today, normally on Wednesdays, we have our blissful word encounter, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. By the grace of God, we are ready. And I trust that God has a word for somebody today in the name of Jesus. Last week, last week Wednesday, I started something on Wednesday. Last week Wednesday, I started something. Uh, uh, making the best out of the bad mm. situation, My Lord. making the best or bringing the best out of a bad situation, or you can say that uh, making something out of nothing. Mm. Hallelujah! Amen. Making something out of nothing. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Um, most of the times, um, as we change the earth, we encounter a lot of challenges, or we go through. Uh, certain trials, uh, tests here and there. We we have some circumstances that baffles our mind, and there are times that we find ourselves at a tight corner. Uh, you look forward, no help is coming. You look behind you, no support system around, and it's like you are confused, and you, uh, things are out of uh, uh, out of play, and right. it's like we don't know what is happening. Hallelujah, but. Mm. In as much as, in as much as we encounter those things, uh, we shouldn't think that they are tied to support blissful hour. God bless you, and I want to say that those of you that have sent your prayer request, don't worry. The blissful hour prayer team, we are still praying for you, praying with you, prophesying for you to you and interceding on your behalf and we know that the God who answered prayer will meet you at the point of your need. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So as I was saying last week I was saying something on Wednesday that making the best out of a bad comes in the and God created the night and created the day and God also created the blacksmith right so uh, he says in Isaiah 54, I think 17, he says that no weapon, or when you start from 13 or 12, that was coming, he says that I created the blacksmith. Mm. Anytime that something will happen in heaven, or spiritually, or something will happen on earth, or physically, mm. and God gets surprised, that moment God ceases to be God. Oh, you, did you hear what I said? Yeah. No, come on. Did you hear what I said? I said the moment something he ceases to be God, ceases to be God because the name God or one of the qualities of God mm. is that He is all knowing. knowing. He knows yesterday, He knows today, ah. and He knows tomorrow. That's right. So nothing surprises God at all. Yes. The plans of the devil are before God. My the plans of demons are before God. What they are even thinking about, he is already aware. Mm. You really hear what I said. So God created the night and created the day. Mm. And God created the heavens and created the earth. I'm, I'm taking you somewhere. Yes, sir. So if you are living on this earth as a child of God or as a human being, and you deceive yourself by thinking that uh, because you are a Christian, because you speak in tongues, because you go to church A or church B, mm. and trials will not come your way, challenges will not come your way, you will not face certain mm. ugly situations, oh then I think you you need to rethink. Mm. Mm. You didn't hear what I said. My God. I don't have audience in the studio. Mm. Mm. I can't see their presence at all. My I said, mm. let, me, let me break it down. Mm. He said that we pick the endure mm. or it will stand. It will go on in your life, in my life, for a night. My goodness. But joy.
comes in the morning. So it means that when darkness comes, you should expect light. So it means that when troubles come, or anger, or disappointment come, you should expect what? Appointment. They are twins. They work. They work hand in hand. See, most Christians, men of God, people online, most Christians, they have not come to the realization and the understanding of this reality. Mm. They think becoming a Christian is all rosy and cozy no, and sir. cake and meat pies no, and, 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 and beggars and, 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 and rice and jollof and money and no, good sir. things do up. No. If it's like that, God will not say that when you go through the water mm. or the waters, I will go through with you. Yeah. When you face fire, I will face him with you. So it means that God has approved of darkness and he has approved of day or light. Speak to me. Ah. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that the same God who watches over your life, over my life, is aware of your night season. He is aware of that disappointment someone is bringing your way. And he has assured you that we people may endure for a night, but there will be a shift. I prophesy to you. I prophesy to you. As you are under the sound of my voice, if you are in your weeping ties, maybe you are sharing tears in your marriage, maybe you are crying over your business that went down. From Corona time, you've not been able to be on your feet. Your business went down. Ah, if they are your weeping time, it is your crying time. I came in the volumes of the book. That your light is coming. I said your light is coming. Maybe you are a wife, you are a woman, you are married, you've been married for four years, and you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. People are teasing you, they are mocking you, they are laughing. Oh man, David said something, men of God. David said, My enemy, do not rejoice over yeah, yeah. Do not rejoice over me. Mm. Yes. You know why David said that? Mm. David is aware that when I cry small, I will laugh after oh, my cry. Yes, 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 yes. If you don't know scriptures, mm. you will think what is going on has no solution. My goodness. Are we together? Yes, sir. Yes. So our topic for tonight or today is making something good out of something bad, bad. or a bad situation. Mm. Whatever happens, man of God. Bad situations will come. Of course. You will encounter them. They are part of life. Mm. Because bad situations encourages mm. you. Now, if there are no bad situations, mm. your faith, yeah. your hope, your, 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 your resilience in God will be little. Mm. Because the more you encounter challenges and God takes you out of those challenges, mm. it makes you trust Him the more. Mm. You didn't hear what I said. You didn't hear what I said. When the Israelites, let, let's do some analysis. When the Israelites left the land of slavery, if from the land of slavery to the promised land, they did not encounter any Amalekites, they did not encounter any uh, 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 whatever, those people and their names, you understand? If they did not encounter any challenge, I'm sure their faith in God will be minimal. That's right, that's right. It will be little. That's true. Yeah. But the more they encountered problems, mm. the more they saw the Red Sea. Oh and God parted or leave for Baliata. And God parted the Red Sea for them to walk through it on dry ground. But the same Red Sea that the Israelites walked through on dry ground is that same Red Sea that drowned, that 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 overtook the Egyptians. That increased their faith. So whatever you are going through, mm. don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Keep going and keep trusting your God. Last week I was saying that. Can we get to Second Kings chapter four? Mm. We want to make something out of nothing. Mm. The state of hunger, the state of hopelessness, hopeless. Mm. The highest. The highest of this one. You check front, no hope. Mm. Behind you, no help. My God. Around you, no support. Jesus. That's what we are dealing with tonight. Yes, I told you. 
Are we still alive? Oh, yeah. 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 So, 2 Kings chapter 4. Mm -hmm. Verse 1. Let's go. And I read. Uh -huh. Now the wife of a son of the prophet uh -huh. cried to Elijah, Okay. Your servant, my husband, is dead. Mm -hmm. And you know that your servant feared the Lord. Mm -hmm. But the creditor has come to take my two sons to be his slaves. Wait. Mm. I tell you that when you are reading mm. English or you are speaking English, at the first statement, mm. are we here? Yeah. No matter what was said, yeah. at the first statement, yeah. the second statement is coming to crucify the first statement. Mm. So you can say that uh, uh, um, uh, uh, this manager is a good man, a woman. Who lost what? The husband. Yeah. And by the grace of God, the husband was a pastor. Yeah. Watch this. A prophet. Don't deceive yourself. Mm. You can be praying in tongues and go to hell. That's true. <laughs> he said, mm. My husband is dead, but he was a prophet. He said, my husband, my husband, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. was a pastor, but he is dead and gone. And, gone. and the creditors, <coughs> but the creditors. And he said, mm -hmm. listen to the qualities they used, or the woman, the widow, used in describing His her husband. dead husband. Mm -hmm. She said, number one. My husband is a prophet or a pastor. Mm. Number two, my husband. My husband mm -hmm. feared the Lord. Mm. So it means that I start to understand and demarcate mm. that somebody can be a pastor uh, but does not fear God. That's true. That's true. That's true. Mm. <laughs> Speak to me. So he said, My husband is not just a pastor, but a friend, but he fears what? The Lord. God. Then the lady added a statement that disgraced or spoke all the accolades or the good things mm. that she said about her husband. Mm. She said, Mr. Prophet Elisha, mm. upon all the good things I have said with all the good things I have said concerning my husband, he died a poor man. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he died a poor man and number two, he died leaving nothing. Mm. And number three, he even left left what a debt uh, bills for us to pay. Geez. He left electricity bills. Mm. He left house rent. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Uh, and and he even went to the bank for loan. Ah. Maybe that is your story, but we are about to unpuzzle the puzzle. Jesus. We'll break it down very soon. Mm. Oh, God. Take yeah. it to the end verse. So we understand it now. Now we know the man we are talking about. Mm. Go ahead, go ahead, first. Verse 2. Uh -huh. Elijah said to him, Joe, what shall I do for you? Wait, man of God, mm. people online, before me. we go there, man of God, are we getting something? Yeah. I'm bringing out some dangerous revelations here. I said, you can be a pastor and be poor. That's true. You don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> he said, he died, let us build. Some even at the bank, mm. right? But I want to ask this question. If your husband was or is a pastor and dies, My God. then you run to his bishop. Mm. I'm sure if he had left something, you could have sold it to pay some of the bills. That's true. That's true. Or gone to his family members. Mm. Because he left children, two boys. Mm. But the woman. It's a wise woman. You know why I'm calling her a wise woman? Mm. She knew that when her husband was alive, she was connected to a prophet. Uh. She was connected. He was connected to the house of God. Mm. I'm teaching some Bible here. He was connected to the house of God. Yes. He was connected to the man of God. Mm. And the woman knew what God was using Elijah, mm. Elisha, and his husband for. Mm. 
So what am I trying to say here, man of God? Anytime you have a problem, talking to human beings that are not very solution, you must run to God first. I don't know if I'm to you. Men can listen to you, but for them to help you is another case. That's true. They will really laugh at you. They will really laugh at you. Mm. I'm going to see some Bible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, or, because the widow could have gone to her family or the man's family, mm. right? Mm. But she decided to go to the house of God. Uh. So you have marital challenge. You decided to talk to your friend about it. Mm. For three months now, That's you have not spoken to the Holy Spirit uh. about your marital challenge. Uh. It is now your friend who is not married and following men. Mm. She is the one you are taking advice from. Yes. Think yes, about it. Yes. Think about what you are thinking about. I said, think about what you are thinking about. Mm. Mm. Am I on the track? My God. So now you can go to the next. So are we getting some point here? Yes, sir. So she went where? To the house of God. Of God. First place. Then Elijah said, Tell mm. me, what have you in the house? Elisha asked two valuable, tangible questions. Elisha said, what can I do for you? Or what do you want me to do for you? Are we together? Now, Elisha is asking that question in the capacity and the authority as a man of God, standing in for God. Because Elijah knows the anointing on his head. Elijah said, if you have a loan issue too, must you go to a pastor? You don't know. <laughs> My goodness. He said, What can I do for you? Indirectly, what can my God do for you? Mm. Then he asked a second serious question. Jesus. Then Elisha said, What do you have? In the house. In the house. Now, last week, man, man of God, mm. I was saying that whatever happens, eh, you must understand that any challenge. Any predicament, any bad situation you find yourself in, any disappointment you find yourself in, there is an appointment inside the disappointment. Ah, yes. There is grace inside the disgrace. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I said there is grace inside the disgrace. It is only that you are blind ah, that you cannot see. My goodness. Mm. I'm connecting this to the question of Elijah. Mm. Elijah said, What do you have? When Moses and the Israelites go to the big sea, the red one, mm. not the blue one, the red one, eh? mm. and they said, they were crying, wailing, memory. Moses also said, God, your children are crying, what do we do? Mm. Then God said, Moses, what do you have in your hand? Yes. Mm. What, do you what do you have in your hand? hand? Yes. Madam, any challenge you are going through, uh, may the spirit of the Lord my God. open your eyes. For you to see what you have that can help and catapult you to the level you want to be. Young man, I'm talking to you. Where you find yourself right now, the challenge you find yourself in, you must talk to the Holy Spirit and find out through wisdom what you already have that can equip you, energize you, empower you, propel you, push you to where you have been predestined to be. See, this world, nobody came empty. No. Let me say it again. I said, this world, God never brought somebody here empty. It's not true. That's not true. Whatever happens, you have something. That's right. There are things you have, I don't have. There are things I also have, you don't have. That's it. When we say, what do you have? Some of them are physical, mm. some are spiritual. Jesus, are we together? Speak to us in this woman's case. Mm. She had something physical in, the physical realm. in her home, mm. and Elisha also had an anointing that is spiritual. Oh. So, what do you do as a child of God when you find yourself in a particular situation? When you are confused and you don't know what to do, the landlord said he's coming to inject you, throw you out of the house. You want capital money to push your business. The debtors, the creditors are coming. You know what? You graduated three years ago. You have gone around looking for a job. I came today to ask you, what do you have? Jesus. 
teach you somebody. Yes. Teach you something. What do you have? Mm. Because what you have can take you from where hey, you are. My goodness. <laughs> it can take, it can cut a pot. I'm telling you. Don't you? I know what I have. Say I have something. I have something. No, say I have something. I have something. Oh, say I have something. I have something. Ah. I want you to see somebody. Yes, sir. He said, what do you have? Mm. Not your children. Mm -mm. Not your two boys. Mm -mm. He said, Madam Wito, mm. what do you have? Jesus. Jesus. It means that prophetically, mm. Elijah located. For you to get things going well for you, they need a teacher. 
I will wallow in poverty. Ah. Suffer. Oh, no. It's an error. Say it's an error. It's an error. It's an error. Big one. A big error. I told you hold it. Jesus. I'm a man of God that eh? by the time you get to our ministry, you will not come and find me poor. No, sir. <laughs> who, who told you? Oh, she okay. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? Because I believe in the principles, the personality, the practicality of the teachings of Jesus. That's right, sir. Paul says something. He said, What betides on me mm. that I pray to you and go back home mm. and me myself be an outcast. Be an outcast. It's an error. Mm. Let me hurry up. We don't have to. Go, 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 go. Let me hurry up. Shit. So, the third problem of the woman, mm -hmm. she lacked the ability to pay the debt. Mm. Because you know, with all what Elijah, sorry, Elisha, Elisha connected himself to her and they did, still what she was having without the hand of God, mm. it couldn't have paid the debt. No. Mm. Oh. That's true. Eh? Yes. So your effort, your dedication, mm. your commitment, mm. your love for God, mm. your faith, My God. your application of wisdom, My God. principles mm. in life, in relation, in marriage with the hand of God will cause Yes, yes, yes. Jesus. 100%. Professor. Mm. Poverty will pounce on the lazy man like an armed robber. By the night. Let me say that again. Mm. I said the book of Proverbs said this. These are the four problems of the woman. One word. Read. Let's look at Elisha's solution. Have you got the four problems of the woman? Yes, sir. Number four. She was about at the vet. Man of God. Yes, sir. Children of God. She was at the vet. Ah, okay. Your husband is dead. Do you know who a creditor is? A creditor is somebody who will torment you to collect his money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A, 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 a creditor. Mm. They don't talk with their money. They don't talk with what they give you. They will come for it. So it means that the children were going to be used as sacrificial lamb mm. or collateral. That's the word. <laughs> it's not collateral. That's the word, sir. They are coming. Garanta is when you are about to take the money. Yes, sir. Collateral is if you cannot pay, we take this one and replace it. <laughs> I prophesy to you ah. and I pray with you that you will be a righteous man. Mm. According to the book of you will need spiritual inheritance yeah. connected to God and you will need physical inheritance that your children will not suffer if Jesus delays in coming. Ah. You will not die poor. Say, I will not die poor. I will not die poor. I will not die broke. I will not. Let, let, let's get to verse three. Good. Then he said, uh -huh. Start go, with the go and borrow. Yes. Go around and borrow. So Elisha gave the first prescription. He said, Go around and do what? Borrow vessels. Borrow what? Vessels. vessels. So it means that uh, uh, proud to where we are right now, mm. the woman said she just had one. Gallon. Gallon. Yeah. In the house. Of small oil. Not four gallons, just one. Does it mean that one was, you know, down? It's not up to the brim. No, sir. No, sir. The woman said, mm. I just have what? One jar. gallon or yeah. jar mm. of oil. 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 Now, you see the reason why we agreed from the beginning of the message that we all have something. That's right. Okay. Go on. From all your neighbors, mm -hmm. empty the vessels. Do what? Empty the vessels. Wait. The Holy Spirit wants me to break things down. Mm. Watch this. First prescription, Elijah, Elijah said, Go around. Go, go out there. Mm. Go and bow. Mm. Wait. She had one gown. But no matter 
the anointing of God mm. upon Elisha. And no matter the miracle that performed through the hands of Elisha, opportunities will come your way. But you are not prepared enough. You are not built momentum. You are not built capacity mm. to accommodate, accommodate. accumulate, mm. and contain the blessings God is bringing you. Mm. You are yearning to be married. Jeez. Up till now, you can cook about five dishes mm. of your country. My goodness. Madam, you are not qualified for marriage. Did I say it well? mm. Yes. I said, you are not qualified. Though. Yes, sir. Are we together? Mm. There are most of us. There are prayers we pray, men of God. Yes, sir. We are not ready hey. for the abundance. When that abundance comes, mm. eh, you don't have container to contain. Oh, Jesus. Yes. There are some young guys. If God elevates you right now, uh, the way you will steal money, the way you go and steal money in that company, mm. the manager will leave the company and run away. Mm. It means character wise, you are not ready mm. to be at that position. Maybe you are a politician. You want to attain higher levels in politics. Mm. But you don't have love for humanity. Jesus. Our teachings of Bible. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. All these things accompany the position you want. Jesus. But it's a container you don't have. Mm. You want to be a leader My in every speech, leader, a church leader, or whatever. But your character, your mm. ego, man of God, bless you. Mm. your human relationship. Mm. Look at the friendship that existed between Jonathan and uh, David. David. Mm. Look at it. Mm. Meanwhile, David prepared enough container to have a friend who is already at the palace. To learn the technicalities, the legalities, the schemes, the devices, the ways, the pros, the cons, the in and out of the palace. Mm. Where you are dreaming to be, do you know something about that place? Ah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm talking to someone. Oh Lord, no, have mercy. Mm. Elijah said, Woman, the way you have this one car, you are not ready. No. One gallon, I will multiply you. Mm. But if that one gallon mm. or the jar is mm. full, where are you going to keep the rest of the blessing? Yes. That you can even sell to pay for your debts. Young lady, mm. please go to that old woman. Let her teach you how to be a good marriage material. Jesus. It's called container. Mm. It's not, it's not prophesied to me, prophesied to me. Mm -mm. <laughs> Let me have it. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number one. Yes, sir. Read on. Let me bring Elisha's solution. We have seen the four problems of the woman. Yes, sir. Read on. Yeah. Go around. Go around. And borrow vessels. Borrow what? To say that, go out, go and borrow vessels. Mm -hmm. I don't borrow weak 